Yeah. Hello everybody. Just a quick video. We went through a tornado in Arkansas. May 25th, 26th. The night of the 25th and into the 26th. And because of that, we lost power for over a week. There's nothing I could do to prevent the loss of all my salt water tanks. We tried. Generator in my truck couldn't power it, plus to do all the other stuff that it needed for protecting our own house. I'll be just blunt and cold. Other people needed the power. We needed the power for helping us. That's just the fact of life. Bubblers aren't going to keep a reef tank going the way mine was set up. That's just not going to happen. Battery operated. Yeah, um, tornado hit in the middle of the night. We needed flashlights to help our neighbors. Those batteries were quickly gone. We couldn't get out. There were trees down, power lines down everywhere. We could not leave our street for a couple days. So we lost them. But all's not lost. We are setting mm -hmm. up another frog tank. And it's this one right here that you're looking at. We lost the other 20 gallon Innovative Marine when we picked it up to try and move it outside. It cracked. Um, just is what it is. But we were able to save this one and we're going to go dark frogs now. My heart's just not into going back to salt water. Maybe one day, but when we talked to our insurance, she said, add up what it would cost retail to replace it. It might be covered. So we did the math and let's just say it was close to the $100,000 mark between all my tanks, some of them that nobody had ever seen. In hammers alone, there was over 200. That's 200 heads. Let me make that clear. Um, Duncan's, my God. I... I just, I, it was a lot. <clears throat> Candy canes, everything, it, it, it's still hurting kind of talking about it today. But I just wanted to let everybody know if they aren't seeing any more updates on saltwater tanks, what happened? A tornado. Actually from various reports, anywhere between 8 and 12 tornadoes hit our county. Two of them were almost two miles wide each from what we're being told in the reports. My wife and I were lucky. Others in our county were not. Some people died that night. So keeping that in perspective, I guess, is a good thing. We can start over, we can rebuild, and maybe in time my heart will get back into it. And I'll do a salt water again. But for now, well, I'm going to concentrate on the frogs. I really am enjoying them, and well, right next to my computer in my office sits Bumblebee. No idea what I'm going to put in this one yet. I'll let you know. Till then, God bless y'all.